Uh, Jay, you're coming back to Australia in, in February um, for the 30th anniversary of the Dinosaur Junior album, Where You've Been. Uh, I believe right. you, you play the album in its entirety. Do you do that uh, in track order or do you mix it up? Uh, we've been doing it in order, yeah. Yeah. Did, does the track order mean much to you when you're putting together a new album? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, lately, yeah, since the CD, um, I think more about first three songs have to be good. And then, yeah, the rest, I just kind of, yeah, make it, think of it like an album, do the two sides. And yeah, I think that way still. Yeah. Did you look back at uh, the writing and recording of where you've been with fond memories? Was it an enjoyable time? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, everything was going along pretty well at the time. Yeah. Has um, the way you create albums changed much since those days? Yeah, I record at home mostly now. Yeah. Is, is that a, a blessing and a curse? Did you, can you spend too much time uh, working on songs if you've got the studio to yourself? Yeah, but I'm not so great at engineering, so I don't have to worry too much about it. But, uh, yeah, I never thought I'd have a studio, but it's just at some point I was just became kind of a necessity I go you know I just so now I have a studio yeah is is it a process uh, you enjoy um the recording process are you sort of do you see that as part of the art as well yeah it's pretty cool it's uh kind of annoying how much all the, the things cost like uh you know spending ten thousand dollars on a compressor isn't as fun as spending ten thousand dollars on a guitar or something so you don't get that much out of it but you need it for you know you want it to sound good but yeah it's not as fun to buy these things as guitars yeah um, the other thing you're doing when you come down to Australia is you're playing the Tent Pole Festival um, with Mogwai and Calexico and some Australian bands, RVG, uh, Cass Savage, uh, Civic. Do you enjoy playing festivals? Do you like hanging out with other bands backstage? Yeah, I do. It's pretty cool. You know, a lot of them you meet over the years and then, you know, hook up again at these things it's fun yeah do you recall the first time you came to australia and do you remember any of the local bands at the time that maybe made an impression on you yeah um i really liked um god at the time you know the my pal single and the uh, one of the bands that opened for us had a one guy who was in God, so that I remember that. And then there was some other bands that um, the Hummingbirds and uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, um, you've got a couple of uh, power trios supporting you on this tour: uh, Stepmother from Australia and Office Dog from New Zealand. Who were the bands that you supported in the early days that maybe gave you a leg up? Oh, I mean, Sonic Youth, yeah, definitely helped us a lot, brought us on tour and our first tour. And um, yeah, they probably helped us the most. Yeah. Um, I saw uh, an amazing clip of you with Warren Haynes recently on YouTube playing Neil Young's Cortez the Killer. Um, 
you famously uh, rescheduled one of your own gigs so you could go and see Neil play. Uh, have you ever got to jam with Neil or any of the crazy, crazy horse guys? No. I haven't. Yeah. Is that, is that something you'd, you'd like to do? Sure. That would be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. You've also got a, a new solo album coming out in February. Uh, what what yeah. do we do now? Um, what can you tell us about that album? Are there any uh, particular themes lyrically emerging? I don't know about that, but uh, you know, uh, the instrumentation is like um, acoustic guitar, piano, and drums on most of the songs. So that's an interesting sound I like. Um, sort of like um, every picture tells a story, the Rod Stewart album, that kind of instrumentation. Okay. Uh, um, we've uh, heard a single from the album, Can't Believe We're Here, which uh, has a clip which features Fred Armisen and David Cross and a bunch of people. Um, how do you know those guys? Uh, I don't know, just over the years, you just meet people here and there. Um, I don't remember where exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you enjoy stand-up comedy? Do you go to their shows? Yeah, you know, if I like the person, I'll usually like it. I don't like it. I don't like it in general, but I like the people that I like, you know. I'm fairly picky, but I do like some of it, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you heard distorted guitar? No. I mean, uh, that's all, you know, I... Because you don't just know what's going on when you're a kid, but uh, you just know you like something. I remember someone telling me it, you know, when I was playing drums in high school, he brought in a fuzz box. He's like, yeah, it's all just tricks. You can just play one note, one with a fuzz box. And I don't think that turned out to be totally true, what he was saying. Because... He was kind of telling me, you don't even need to play chords. If you have a fuzz box, you know, you'll just you can just play one note and it'll sound like all these records and stuff. Yeah. Um, Fender ha have honored you with a couple of signature guitars, a Telecaster and a Jazzmaster and um, Jazzmaster pickups. What was it like the first time Fender contacted you and, and saying they were going to... Uh, honor you with a signature guitar how did you feel about it oh yeah i was psyched about it of course yeah i thought it was pretty awesome yeah w was there much back and forth between you and fender to get it the way you wanted not too bad you know i just i wasn't that you know i had a few things i wanted but I'm not as picky as some people, I think. I guess it was good that I played the jazz master because there's less there was less competition in that with that guitar for people who played it. So uh, do you tend to hang on to all your guitars or do you do a, a clean out occasionally? I did one kind of clean out thing, but it's just, I would hang on to most of them, yeah, but sometimes I just have too many and I don't play them, so if I'm not using a lot of them, I might sell them, but I'm mostly a hoarder more than anything, yeah. Yeah. Um, I've seen photos of you at home. You seem to have a decent vinyl collection. Um, do you get to play music for your own enjoyment much at home? Yeah, if I feel like it. Yeah. Have, have you discovered any new artists that you're into lately? 
Yeah, we've been listening to this band Porridge Radio lately. Somebody told me about it, and then I met the singer in London. And yeah, I like that album a lot. Yeah, uh, the they're a UK band. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, apart from touring and the new solo album, uh, any other projects that you'll be working on working on next year? I got an, uh, another witch album coming out. I might have some witch dates too. Yeah. Well, Jay, well, uh, it's been great to have a chat with you and um, we look forward to seeing you uh, down here next year. All right, thanks.